Hi, and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. We're going to take a look at a quick tip in Reaper to help you manage your projects and the excessive amount of files you can very quickly build up while creating multiple takes within the, the audio recordings that you're working on. So give me a quick tip, but something that I found very useful to make sure that I don't build up an excessive amount of extraneous files that have no use to me whatsoever after a project is completed. So I've got a simple project open in front of me, a couple of guitar tracks, bass track, etc. Normal thing you'd expect to see. Now, I've built up a huge amount of files while working on guitar solos and chopping and changing between bits and pieces. And I need to clean those up because the reality is hard disk space, while it's cheap, can very quickly build up into huge amounts of wasted space on stuff that you're never ever going to use again. Obviously, be careful when you're doing this, just in case you think, well, I might need to go back and pull that back up. But if you think, okay, I've got everything the way I want it, I don't need to do anything with it, then this is a good process to get into the habit of doing while you're working on your projects. So all I'm going to do is go to the File menu, and I'm going to come down to Clean Current Project Directory. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to scan through and find out all the files in this particular project that are not being used at all. So you can see I've got 115 out of 124 files that are not being used in the particular folder that I'm working with. Now, you've got to make sure that when you're working with Reaper and you're creating files for songs, whatever you're working on, that you start to organize your work into folders. It just means that you can maintain a simple and straightforward structure to know where all of your songs, all the files that are related to it, all the media files and so on are located as opposed to having one folder that just has thousands and thousands and thousands of files in. So as long as you're doing that, then this process is going to be very, very useful to you. If you're not, then I'd recommend taking a look at how you work with Reaper to create project folders automatically when you create a new project. I'm going to assume that you've already done that. So as I've said, I've got 115 out of the 124 files inside this project folder that are not being used. And you can see I scroll through those guitar takes and repeaks and God knows what in there. Tons and tons of stuff. This is a pretty simple dialog box. It has one real option to it. And I, what I would recommend you definitely check just in case. It says all the files are not used in the current project, but they may be used in some other projects. So obviously, like I say, if you're, you're linking between various different projects and using, you're sharing a folder, this could be a problem. But like I say, I'd recommend making sure that you don't work that way. The option we have is one checkbox that says send files to the recycle bin. It's safer. So let's just say, for example, you select all these, delete them, come back to your project, open it back up. And for some strange reason, there's a, a, a file missing and you're thinking, oh, crap, what the hell have I done with that? Well, by taking them to the, the recycle bin, it means that you can get those back should you find that a file is missing. Let's just say we're not going to worry too much, but I'm going to leave that checked just so I know that I don't accidentally lose any files that I might be working on. So you can see the remove selected files is not enabled. It's ghosted out. So what we need to do is we need to check the files or select the files that we want to get rid of. So you can get rid of everything in here, which obviously would make sense if you don't need anything, or you can pick and choose the files that you want. I'm going to assume that I want to get rid of everything. So I'm going to select the first file, scroll to the bottom, hold the sh control and shift key on the keyboard, and that allows me to select all of the files in one go. So now I can say remove selected files. That'll tell me, are you sure you want to remove these 115 selected files? Remember, I've got the send files to recycle bin. That's checked. So if I find that I've, I've lost something, then I can just call that back up from the recycle bin. Obviously, if you empty your recycle bin, they're all going to be gone. But let's just say for now, that's fine. So I'm going to click OK. That'll go through, delete all the extra files that I didn't need, all the 115 files that were no longer used, and get rid of those completely. Dump them straight to the recycle bin for me so I can call those back up should I need them. And if I just open the recycle bin up, you can see that there's all the files located in there. And if we take a look down under the size section, you can see they all quite quickly mount up 3 megabytes, 4 megabytes, 1 megabyte, right the way up to 8 and beyond. So you're going to clear up a fair old bit of space by keeping your project folders clean and tidy and get rid of all the extra files that you don't need. Well, I hope you found this quick tip for Reaper useful. Until next time, take care. If you've enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, follow our YouTube channel, come along to PeaceMeg TV and keep a track on all the videos that we'll be adding there now and in the future. But until next time, take care.